You know what's kind of great? She did specify if you can't play one of the rounds, that means I automatically win. Like the other person automatically wins. She did say that. Apothecary Diaries. I absolutely love this series, but I had an unfortunate incident happen on my Patreon recently where after only 14 episodes of episode 23 being out, a bunch of people spoiled it for me. <laughs> They spoiled the big reveal. So they started like justifying the father's actions and talking about the father's mentality and explaining it all away. And I'm like, why are they suddenly all explaining his character and explaining everything? And I was like, oh, it's obviously because a new episode came out 14 hours ago and they're all coming straight to my Patreon to explain how I'm wrong about the father. So unfortunately that was spoiled for me. I banned a lot of people because of that. I'm, I'm really sad that that happened. It's very unfortunate because I intentionally try to go ahead as much as possible as as much as I possibly can in the series. I tend to not read comments because of that. The fact that something got spoiled not even 24 hours after the episode came out on my own platform made me really sad. And I didn't want to record it last week because of that because I felt so frustrated. And uh, but yeah, now I'm going to go finish up the series. So we're here with episode 23 and we recorded episode 24 right after because 24 came out today. But let's get straight into it. Before we get started, the vibes, that like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm gods. Uh, usually for YouTube comments, I tend to not read them because I know that those hold spo spoilers. But I didn't really expect my Patreon, which has a paywall, to hold them. So that really, that still makes me kind of sad that that happened. But, you know, check out the Patreon. You get early access to my reactions for all the series I do here on the channel. I'm usually like 10 episodes ahead for most series, depending. Unless they're like uploaded weekly. But yeah, I'll catch you there and uh, let's get into it. But now I'm chilling. I feel, I feel a little better. What up, pups? What's Papa with you? <laughs> he got so excited. Holy. Oh, best of five. Okay. That means first to three for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with the rules. Okay. Oh, Jinchi got hella pressed. Jinchi's hella pressed. <laughs> I think a little Sly Fox is funny as fuck. <laughs> Oh shit! Buy out my mama! Buy out my mama! Take good care of her! Oh hell yeah! Uh, sake? Oh, dang, hard liquor. Dang. <laughs> we take shots after the loser takes shots after a game? What is it? Oh, that's cool. That's hardcore. She said, don't pussy out, drink that poison, old man. <laughs> He's a famous weirdo. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, at the end of the day, she wants a better life for her mom, right? So getting her bought out would be amazing for her. And actually help her give her a proper life rather than being stuck inside in, in that room. And hidden away. I'm unfamiliar with this game and its rules, but they'll let me know who's winning. Oh. Jinji. Jinji's more stressed than both of them. Jinji's more stressed than the, than the, than the father and daughter playing. I love it. <laughs> He's one of the only people acting normal in this situation. <laughs> oh, daddy's there to drink, right? Oh, are we fucking him up? Oh, she drank it twice? And she drunk. She drinks it so eagerly, I can't tell if it's poisoned or not. Yeah, because she would drink poison and hard liquor the exact same way. This girl loves both. <laughs> I feel like it might be one of those situations where she's like baiting how bad she is to maybe play well. I don't I don't know. No, he I don't think he did. He's probably gonna poker face it, right? I mean, he also could just say that towards hard liquor. We don't know him. He'd be always drinking them pretty ass drinks. All those bougie ass, fancy ass drinks. Maybe he just finds the taste of this type of liquor bad because he's used to that bougie ass, fancy ass, classy ass drink. <laughs> he goes, this is some peasant shit. Tastes awful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Because he is a connoisseur of alcohol. Flashbang, fuck me. He's a connoisseur of alcohol because he's given us special type of booze inside random gourds before. <laughs> oh. What in the fuck? After one? She never poisoned them. She just put two different alcohols in? So she, some of them are mixed with two different alcohols? Is that what it was? Yeah, he just drunk as fuck. Do you know what's kind of great? She did specify if you can't play one of the rounds, that means I automatically win. Like the other person automatically wins. She did say that. And now he passed out like that. Does that mean she takes the win? Oh, he abstains from alcohol. Oh, he, right. He, uh, he drinks fancy fruit juices. I keep thinking that he's drinking fancy wines. My brain mixed that up. I thought he was, I knew he'd be having them fancy ass drinks. <laughs> I remember he had those fancy specialty drinks. I just thought that they were like, you know, y'all ever have some like vodka and juice together? <laughs> I was like, kind of had that tape beat going on, you know, a little fancy. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yep. Because he could no longer participate. I was going to show him as a kid. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, to all of you who spoiled this part. I want to sincerely say from the bottom of my heart, I fucking hate you. Thank you. <laughs> they, they literally explained it in the fucking anime. And you had... And the problem is, is that these people who wrote paragraphs to me about how I'm wrong about his character, bar for bar, quoted him like this. You aren't smart. You are stupid. The people who spoiled this, you are so stupid. Because it's not that you're smart, it's that you just saw something ahead of me. So you wanted to physically write it down. That's all it is. The intent of the creators was to perceive him as an evil character. So that way when this plot point happens, you go, oh, wow, and you gain a new perspective of him. It's not about, oh, I know more than you. It's about, oh, the, they're taking you on a journey. Everything you watch, especially in forms of media, is a journey. The point of us is to be like, oh, they're playing this evil music for him. Oh, he's ominous. Oh, he's sketchy. Oh, he gives everyone the ick. And then you find this profound backstory and understand his character and see the nuances of, oh, wow. It wasn't the fact in the previous episode that he sees people as just their, as their jobs. It's that he actually has, like, displacement and, and an understanding of faces. It's just that he has that issue. And it was from birth, like, from when he was even a child. That's all. And that's the understanding that you get from this episode. Because even in the previous episode, you're not supposed to get that quite yet. They allude to it, but you're still supposed to see it. Oh, he understands their roles and positions, so he's a sociopath. He's fucking crazy and only deems people of their worth. But no, this is supposed to give him his humanity. Because you see, like, the child version of himself before he gets power, before the influence, that this is how he was still is, right? That's the point. So no, you spoiling and being an asshole doesn't make you cool. It doesn't make you smart. It actually makes you stupid. Because you don't understand the intent of writers, right? That's it. Just to call you out real quick about that. It's embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing you don't understand how writers write stories. And the fact is, is that this is a real illness that does happen for people where they can't actually differentiate the faces of people and things like that. But the, prob the, the thing is, is that in the anime, you wouldn't assume that out of his character because in a lot of animes, you see like the evil villain or a sociopath in an anime who's like, I only see them based on their, on their use to me. So you're used to that trope. So they play off of that trope intentionally. They set you up to be like, oh, it's just another villain in an anime who follows these designs. But in reality, they're like, he's not. He's going to feel more real to you because he has an actual illness where he can't differentiate. That's why. And it's like, oh, wow, a new perspective and a nuance on the writing. That's what it's supposed to be, man. It's so sad. It's so sad that people can't place that together. Like, people don't read books or nothing, man. It's sad. Yeah. yeah, facial blindness, at least, yeah. And that's why he started differentiating based on their roles in the world, yeah.
It is kind of wonderful because based on her skill and based on like the interaction of even her hand, you can tell that like he could differentiate her from the others. And it's like those those aspects of her help build like the understanding of what her face is like. So it's easier so it's easier for him to like kind of pinpoint that. It's crazy because like their chessboard looks so different from ours. I don't know if it's it's very cool to look at. I to the point where I didn't even recognize it was chess. That's cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, her daughter's kind of the similar way, too. <laughs> Hmm. It's I also like the striking resemblance they did for like for her makeup. It's 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 so similar to like how um Mao Mao's makeup is. So like their eyes, just the striking resemblance is, is so great for their faces. When they did that like that sort of like face reveal for her, it was really nice earlier. Did she want you to lower her value? Did she not want to be taken and you tried to help her? She gonna take your sperms. She gonna take your sperms. <laughs> She's trying to devalue herself so she can stay. Oh. oh shit. Oh baby May May. Oh shit. That's cool. That's a nice touch. I think we still get from his perspective, though. Oh. And then we went to fucking... No sweet words, just... Bow, 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 bow! <laughs> oh my god, she's so much like her daughter! She just wants to play board games with the boys. She doesn't want to leave. She just wants to play games. She doesn't want to live a life where she's someone's wife. She just wants to do her fixation, man. She wants to be devalued so that she could just fucking stay and play her games. Just like how Mao Mao's obsessed with like medicine and like poison. <laughs> just to do her shit, you know? And she still sings that to herself now.
その3ヶ月後優秀だったおじきが失脚した。おー縁のためだしかしなんだいえ He said I ain't do nothing that's my uncle Fine whatever's Whatever's fine I guess <laughs> What about my girl? <laughs> But it took longer than that? Three years? Oh shit! Oh my god! And she kept writing to you. Oh, that's fucked up. So when he saw the painted fingernails, my dude was getting traumatized. Thinking about this. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, He ruined one of the only people he ever cared about. Yeah. Yeah, that's right it is. Damn right it is. May may all grown up. Watashi to te kou naru tsumori wa nakatta yo. Masaka anna ni tsuyoi sake da to. Did you feed him more booze? Oh, better never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's gonna drink it anyways because she made it. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I know this is a fucked up joke to make. It's Mao Mao's two fingers now. <laughs> he starts shrieking. <laughs> Round two of breaking this man down further. <laughs> oh, dark as hell. <laughs> Yeah. It's kind of beautiful in its own way because she gave him one of the blue roses that like have withered and stayed and she's holding the bud to another and it's like this beautiful symbolism of keeping one that fully bloomed but died 
and how she still has this bud of life to her. But it's also the connection that they share of like, like how like the mother like withered away too, and something so beautiful can retain its beauty in a way, even though like it's lost. It's like lust. Like it's like lust. It's a. I forgot the word for it. It's just L. Never luster. Luster is a word. Anyways, I don't know. I just I think it was just really. <sighs> it's such a it's such a beautiful episode, man. It just it's so nice. Like the way that they did it too. And they showed that, like, his complacency and, like, he is at fault. You know, even if, like, we understand his being, he is at fault. And he understands he's at fault, which makes it also really great. Rather than having that sort of, like, guilt-free, like, craziness to him, it's like, no, I ruined her. I did this. And I was so short-sighted. And I'm so focused on my own self and my and being so dissociated from everyone that when I finally connected to somebody, I didn't understand the gravity of doing that to someone. And understand the gravity of what it meant to care for someone. And yeah, it's it's very interesting to see that. And then like fe feeling the burden of the curse as well. Like because she cursed him by severing her fingers and sending it to him and stuff too. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, that, I just it's just beautiful. I, I love it. I love the story for it. Because I show you like, because it, it's important to understand for his character that what he does externally and on the outside He's cold, dismissive, and terrible, right? Manipulative, quirky, weird-ass dude. And literally ass, like, un, like, un, like, just unrealistic things out of people to pressure them and push them. So you feel this, like, fucked-up energy from him and this, like, this, but the thing is, is that all of those things that you feel from him are real. Like, without knowing what his own perspective is, and even with knowing his own perspective, the outcome of one's actions remain the same, right? It's kind of like the idea of, say like you swung your arm back and elbowed someone in the face, right? You didn't mean to. Your arm, you just swung your arm back and it hit someone in the face. Does that change the fact that someone else feels pain right now? It doesn't, right? The intention behind it does matter because other, we're either a dickhead or you're not, <laughs> but the outcome is still remains the same. And I think it's really important about how they wrote his character is the outcome of everything he asked and everything he did is still the exact same. But now we understand his perspective and his intention, but at the same time, it doesn't change the fact of the reality. Oh, I think it's just really well done. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye, YouTube.